In this video, I wanna show you how you do punch in recording. Now punch in recording is where you got a selection of your clip and you just wanna punch in, record in a bit, and then carry on. And this is really handy if you've made maybe a mistake in your recording. For example, in mine, I wanna change this chord over here to a different chord. So what I can do is create punch in selection markers, playback while it's recording, and then record the new part in. So let me show you how to do this. First, you just need to show your punch in module so I can right click up here, go to modules, and then choose punch. So there are my punch and record modules. And I will record in over the selection over here. So I'm just going to draw in a selection on my ruler over here. So there is the selection. And then I can set my punch and recording. So that is setting where I want the punch and recording markers to be. And this toggles the auto punch on and off. So you've got green showing you punch and recording selection and then red underneath showing that you've activated the auto punch in. Now the idea here is when you play back or when you record back, that you're playing along so you're getting the same energy as the initial recording is going to record in that punched area and then you can start playback. Now another thing I just want to make sure is if I right click on the record button here, under record mode I want to make sure that I've got overwrite set. Because in the drum section I had sound on sound selected. Was I recorded my kick and snare in, and then I added the sound of the hats. So just make sure that you've got override selected and then hit apply and then close. Okay, so now that we're ready, I'm going to hit record and I just want to stop playback. Did you see what happened there? So as I hit record, it created a gap in the clip where it's going to be the punch in section. But what it did do is by default, it made quite big fades here. So I just want to shorten those fades because I don't really need them that long. That's better. And now I can record it. So I've got my playhead or now time at bar three, and I'm going to record. And just remember to play along. Okay, so there is the punch in recording selection. Now I just want to zoom up and just use some quick changes to that. So I just place my playhead over here so it focuses the zoom. And then you can see that it's recorded in that new bit, but it still has little bits of before. So I've got three different clips here. I can select each one and change the handle. So pull this in here, maybe add a slight bit of a fade in drag this one back so we don't have a gap and narrow that area of the recording. The same, bring this back. Don't want such a big fade in there. So just make sure that that's taken away. And I just want to remove the snap section so that it's not snapping to audio too much. Okay, so if I zoom out now and play that back, so just remove that fade there, we've got this. Perfect. So that is how you punch into recording and record in a new part.